Top 10 Dumbest Rappers Who Went Broke Like other celebrities, rappers are known to have a luxurious lifestyle because of the fame and fortune they get. Rappers own gold chains, flashy cars, mansions, and private jets. They spend most of their money on luxuries, like the successful rappers Drake and Jay-Z. But there are some rappers who used to have a luxurious lifestyle, but eventually went broke due to bad record deals, some lost their fortune because they mismanaged their money, and some just were too stupid and spent most of it on useless things. In today's video, we are going to discuss the top 10 dumbest rappers who went broke. At number 10 on our list, Ja Rule. Joffrey Bruce Atkins, also known as Ja Rule, is an American rapper, songwriter, singer, and actor. Ja Rule dominated the early 2000s with several top 10 singles, including Always On Time and Mesmerize. From 1999 to 2000, Ja Rule had multiple hits that made the top 20 of the US Billboard's Hot 100 chart, including Between Me and You with Christina Milian, I'm Real Murder Remix, and Ain't It Funny with Jennifer Lopez. He earned $3 million between 2004 and 2006, but unfortunately, he failed to claim this income and was fined with a $1.1 million bill by the Internal Revenue Service. He was also sentenced to 28 months in prison for tax evasion. In 2019, again, the IRS claimed that he owed more than $2 million in back taxes. His problems are not over yet. He's facing dozens of class action lawsuits and has lost most of his money. At number nine on our list is Nelly. Nelly went through great success in his career during the 2000s with his debut album Country Grammar, of which the featured title track and the single Ride With Me were top 10 hits. The album debuted at number three on the Billboard 200 and went on to peak at number one. According to the RIAA, Nelly has sold a cumulative 21 million albums, making him the fourth most successful rapper in American history. No doubt, he owed a lot of money and started drowning in debt by 2016. He owes over $2 million in federal taxes, and the IRS could seize his assets and property. Even worse, he was also hit with a nearly $150,000 bill in unpaid state taxes. At number eight on our list is Tyga. Like many hip hop artists, Tyga's career in the industry started young. In 2008, at the age of 19, his song Coconut Juice debuted featuring him and his cousin. It took him a few more years before he found mainstream success, which his song Rack City brought him. Eventually, his downfall started in 2016, when he was taken to court by his landlord for not paying rent in August. He eventually had to pay $186,000 in delinquent rent and reached a settlement with the property owner. Then, Tyga had a 2014 Maybach 62S convertible that was taken after he failed multiple payments. According to TMZ, he never got the car back. Tyga ended up losing his $2.2 million Maybach. At number seven on our list is Lil' Kim. Kimberly Denise Jones, better known by her stage name Lil' Kim, is an American rapper, songwriter, and reality television personality. Lil' Kim's debut studio album, Hardcore, in 1996 was certified double platinum and has since sold more than six million copies worldwide. Lil' Kim had trouble paying her mortgage and the bank first started foreclosure proceedings in 2010 and in 2015. Her New Jersey mansion, valued at $3.1 million, was foreclosed back in 2018 and Kim filed Chapter 13 bankruptcy protection. At last, the court decided that legally she was too broke to qualify for Chapter 13's specific type of bankruptcy. In 2012, she reportedly owed the government $1 million in back taxes, and at the time of the bankruptcy filing, Lil' Kim reported that she only had $2,500 in cash. At number six on our list is Fat Joey. Joseph Antonio Cartagena, better known by his stage name Fat Joe, is an American rapper and actor from the Bronx, New York. His most commercially successful album to date was Jealous One Still Envy. It was certified platinum by the RIAA. He earned more than $3 million from 2007 to 2008, but did not pay $700,000 he owed to the IRS out of it. He faced up to two years in prison, but Joe only served four months in prison because of his charity work. In 2016, he found himself in hot water with the IRS again. This time, he owed $1.1 million. In an interview, Joey urged young rappers not to waste millions in jewelry and private planes like him. Rather, make solid business plans. 
At number five on our list of top 10 dumbest rappers who went broke is Nas. Nasir Ben Alu Dara Jones, born September 14, 1973, better known by his stage name Nas, is an American rapper, songwriter, and entrepreneur. He is regarded as one of the greatest rappers of all time. Things got bad when his fellow artist and spouse filed for divorce while pregnant with their first child. Nas's terrible financial situation became clear during the divorce. He was required to pay over $50,000 a month for child support. He also claimed that his ex, Kellis, requested over $300,000 for child support, and that if he had to pay, it would completely bankrupt him. He also had to pay over $6 million in back taxes. At number four on our list is Bow Wow. Shad Gregory Moss, born March 9, 1987, better known by his stage name Bow Wow, is an American rapper, actor, television presenter, and broadcaster. He released his first album, Beware of Dog, in 2000 at age 13. He also started acting in movies such as Johnson Family Vacation in 2004 and Roll Bounce in 2005. In 2012, Bow Wow claimed he was broke with only $1,500 remaining in his checking account. Bow Wow reportedly had been asked to pay $3,000 per month in child support by his baby's mother and was only making $4,000 per month. Bow Wow leased a Ferrari F430 and within a month was behind on payments and was stuck with a bill over $200,000. Together with interest, it cost him a total of $300,000. At number three on our list is Wyclef Jean. Wyclef Jean is a Haitian rapper, musician, and actor. He first achieved fame as a member of the New Jersey hip-hop group, The Fugees. Jean has won three Grammy Awards for his musical work. In 2010, he was hit with $2.1 million in taxes from the Internal Revenue Service. Wyclef reportedly used the charity to pay himself and his cousin money to rent a production studio in New York City, totaling $65,000, and over $410,000 for production services and his appearance at various benefit concerts. Lawyers filed a legal judgment against him, claiming he owed them $100,000, and that despite setting up a payment plan, they hadn't received a penny. By then, Gene owed the IRS $2.9 million, having apparently not bothered to pay them either. At number two on our list is Exhibit. Alvin Nathaniel Joyner, better known by his stage name Exhibit, is an American rapper, actor, songwriter, television host, and radio personality. Exhibit began his musical career after the release of his debut studio album, At the Speed of Life, on October 15, 1996, which peaked at number 74 on the US Billboard 200. In 2007, Exhibit earned $497,175, but the year after he lost his profitable TV gig and he only made $67,510. His mansions in California and New Mexico were facing foreclosure. By 2010, he found himself $1.4 million in debt. He reportedly owed more than $900,000 in back taxes in late 2010. Exhibit tried to file for bankruptcy, but his filings were dismissed and his property leased. At number one on the top 10 rappers who went broke is MC Hammer. Hammer saw his greatest commercial success and popularity from the late 1980s until the early 1990s. His album, Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him, which came out in 1990, is still one of the best-selling hip-hop albums of all time. Hammer's net worth at that time was around $33 million. In April 1996, MC Hammer filed for bankruptcy in California. In the filing, he listed over 200 creditors, including former NFL player Deion Sanders, who had loaned Hammer $500,000. But his real financial enemy turned out to be the IRS. For the next 20 years, Hammer fought with the IRS over what was owed. According to recently released legal documents, every dollar that Hammer earns to this day must first go to the IRS before being distributed to him directly. He was reportedly $13 million in debt when he filed for bankruptcy, making him number one on our list. I hope you guys enjoyed our video today titled The Top 10 Dumbest Rappers Who Went Broke. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks.